Here on the horses, race number seven, tonight's second half of the Twin Tribe Factor. These are $2,500 claiming stallions and geldings, racing one mile. Drivers change in the five. Nine minutes until post time, the one Timmy No, the one Jeff Cornett and uh, Jim Conover of Lebanon. Jeff Cornett trains, Jim Conover drives. The two warm image, the one Tom Cummins of Solana, Roy Murphy trains with Randy Tharps. Three T-bone stakes, owned by Don Johnson of Pickerington, Randy Owens, the trainer, Mike Wilder, the driver. Four's winning rival, laced by Craig Parker of Columbus and Doug Parker of Canal Winchester. Doug Parker trains, Don Irvine, Jr. Five is Land Assault, owned by Jesse Asher of Dayton, Carla Griffin trains. Driver's change is to Terry Groves. Groves. From post six, sharp looking JJ, owned by Eilers on a rental of Kettering. Selden Ludford, the trainer, Eric Ludford, the driver. Seven, stylish cookout, owned by Gerald Woodart of Malta. Ed Ryder trains for Ryan Holton. Eight, Shandwell, owned by George Feltner of Springboro. David Perry trains, Dan Ader in the bike. And the nine, my last bid, owned by Gene Humphrey of Columbus. He also trains Bob Harper in the Sonke. Win play show, try thank to twin try wagering eight minutes until post. Seventh race, Stallions and Gildings are all in behind the gate. The gates on the back stretch, there they go. And uh, the ball, and it's Warm Image who moves promptly for the lead alongside and second T-Bone Stakes. And from mid-track, winning rival. And winning rival will now quickly move to the front to take command. Away fourth is Stylish Cookout as he looks for a seat. Timmy No gets away well to the inside. Back down in the sixth, it's Land Assault. He's followed two lengths seventh by Sharp Looking JJ. Parked to the outside eighth. My last bid, and the trailer is Shandwell. The opening a quarter in 28 and a two, and it's winning rival. Now the leader, Warm Image on the inside, a 21 to one shot. Perfect trip here is racing a second. Here comes Timmy No, a 19 to one shot coming briskly to the outside, and Timmy No looking to power to the front, and Timmy No is on the move, but winning rival in Irvine looking over his shoulder will not let him go. Winning rival will play hardball on the front here with Timmy No, and these two are now going at it. Warm image on the inside is third. Along the red and fourth, T-Bone stakes. The quarter, rather the half, 58 and a three. Now to the back stretch. Out of the outside, now racing uh, fifth is Stylish Cookout. Inside and sixth through Land Assault. Out of the outside, my last bid. Using live cover as they fire down the back stretch. And winning rival has fended off the challenger, Timmy No, and has put him away. And Timmy No will now move back to the pack. And there will be a bit of a traffic jam here as they reach the three quarters but it's a straight clear sailing for winning rival who leads by two three quarters 127 and four and winning rival puts away one challenger now warm image will take his best shot at the leader out of the outside comes t-bone stakes now with lost set an eighth of a mile ago and down the stretch they come and it's winning rival still the leader warm image down to the inside of the outside t-bone stakes as they sprint for the payoff it's winning rival, T-Bone Stakes, a late closing second. Winning rival, coasting home at 157-3. and three. And here is the winner, number four, winning rival. Six-year-old son of the Ohio standing Amity Chef of the Governor Skipper Mayor winning. Leased by Craig Parker of Columbus and Doug Parker of Canal Winchester. Doug Parker trains Don Irvon Jr. in the Sulky. Sixth win of the season for winning rival, the Don Smile, 157 and 3. And for driver Don Irvine Jr., picking up two wins tonight for a driving double. The 4 3 2 trifecta paying $243 even. Two forty three. No winners in this evening's twin try. The uh, twin trifecta carryover for tomorrow evening, uh, Thursday night at $1,500. Well done.